So we made it to Crow Canyon. No. The moon is up and Alan's checking out this alcove. And we're about to see some of the first petroglyphs on the trip. This is after we found Emma's house. And it's cold, it's barely above freezing right now. Even though we're south facing. And there's this constant hum of fracca machinery. It's amazing. And we just drove down a endless dirt road for dozens of miles to get here. And you can see here are some of the first petroglyphs. And these are quite weathered. But the horn guy, see the horns out of his head? He reminds me of uh, Sankawi a bit. This reminds me a little bit of like the turtle idea of the universe where you have a turtle on top of a turtle on top of a turtle. Yeah, Because you've a, got like a platform and then... Looks like a thunderbird to me. Then there's that weird arrow. This is interesting down here. It's, it's much better on the camera than it is in what we can see. It's really, really good. There's like a serpent at the bottom. Which is totally normal. <laughs> are slightly defaced. Um. <laughs> now it's like this parade instability. Weathered highly. Huh. So I as per Alan's idea, it appears that this all this sediment is burying and weathering these petroglyphs that are at ground level, and we're actually missing out on some of them. It's gotta be. It's, they're way too low. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they would have to lie down on the dirt to make those. <laughs> There's the people again, like holding hands, but it was more detailed when we w went to the other site. There'll be more. In Penitente. It's another line of people. They're all over here, right, right here. Did you see this? Uh, mountain. The mountain? Yeah. That's new. Yeah, it looks really fresh, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Give me a... Yeah, no, I think you're right. It looks too fresh. It's, it's very different than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's new. We both think that's new. I would agree there on the it's color. fresh looking. I mean, the color on this one is just the same, but it still look, doesn't look nearly as fresh. And then the petroglyphs going all the way down to the ground where it's weathered and broken off would suggest that they're, this is m much lower. Like that one there, you can see it's, it's going to be gone soon. And there's probably a panel left. Yeah, this whole panel's missing.
a lot of these petroglyphs are weathered away. And here we have some ruins. Awesome. That's Spanish or recent. That is not Native American, but certainly the petroglyphs are. Even the roof timber is still here. Both side walls. Yeah, but it's so not round. I don't. I don't get it's how. Really old. Yeah, that's old. It's not fresh. It's terribly done. And then someone shot at it. Yeah. <laughs> Typical. I mean, the sun, if it is the sun below, it is also, as far as petroglyphs go, pretty bad. Meh. <laughs> pretty low budget. Well, conceptually and artistically. That noise in the background is f some kind of fracking equipment. <laughs> 40 miles in the middle of nowhere. Sperm shapes? <laughs> yeah, they look They're interesting. They look very comet like. But they're also like, I feel like they don't resemble anything that we've seen before. You know? Um, people are going to say those are germinating seeds. Yeah. And then you have the corn stalk representation. And then you got human feet. Yeah. I counted the toes. And bird feet. Or those corn stalks. No, they say those are turkey tracks. That's what they say. But this is a pretty old panel. I'll put this at least 300 years old. And then the uh, hourglass up top there. going on in here <laughs> with this. It looks like Minnie Mouse or something with an arrow up the butt. Uh, it's a very bizarre glyph with all the tapping. Yeah. And the tapping is ceremonial so they're doing, they're tapping something to that. It's a really cool panel. Little tracks up the side I, here. For some reason it immediately makes me think of like somebody's brain being opened up to the universe as if it's like dispersing. <laughs> yeah, the first I can thing see I that. Think of. That's oh, That's interesting. Anything over there, Alan? Uh, down here. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. Our expert, field expert. He's <laughs> been here so, seven, seven or eight times. Yep, there's my glyph. So here you can see what stupid humans do.
My hand is frozen holding the camera currently. I'm getting frostbite. So I'm gonna have to put that in. Very smart. Uh, the older glyphs are underneath of overhangs uh, where there's no water flow. They know exactly where to put these to preserve them. Yeah. And then this is quite quite a nice Definitely looks like a man on a horse. Yes. And there's we do. another little horse over there, I think. We do have a man on a horse here. And this quite interesting pattern in yeah, the circle. That? I don't know. And then there's way more people than and we've then ever seen. Lines of people. We keep seeing lines of people in various glyphs. And then potential squatter man anthromorphs, because we're about to go see a squatter man around the corner, and there's a man on a horse. Horse, tiny horse, looks like a Shetland pony. And then we've got Steve Archuleta here <laughs> defacing the glyphs. And we got Squatter Man. Don't trip. That is a squatter man. That's a nice one. With a crown. Yeah, something, <laughs> another part. That's yeah. awesome. That's totally awesome. Sorry, I just walked. <laughs> And then more lost glyphs here with the weathering. Look at a flamingo up there. <laughs> so, or is that a horse? A running horse? No. Uh, looks like a bird of some kind to me. The legs are too long. Like this one looks like an ostrich almost. This is endless glyphs here, and this is just one of the beginning sites. We, we're going to do the whole area tomorrow, and this is just one of the areas where there's petroglyphs. Yeah, there's four here. Yeah, up high. Okay, so I'm definitely calling the plasma discharge event on this one. Yeah, this whole Spy wall. Man, yeah, <laughs> the whole wall, the serpent, the lines of people, which I'm still thinking is like a plasma discharge structure, kind of like. Yeah, because this this something. person has the ball on, in their crotch. Yeah. And the, one of the lines of people around the corner, everybody has like a third leg. So they're obviously not really people. He's kind of got a third leg too. What do you think, Ren? This place is amazing. <laughs> Wow. 
That was Leah's reaction to that. Touch your gloves. That's really interesting. <laughs> Again, like not like anything else we've seen. No. But it's, it's Navajo. It's Navajo sand art. Yeah, yeah. So, it looks like something you buy in the store. I mean, this arch structure, it's like coming out of somebody's head. Oh, it's endless. I know, it's beautiful when I say Oh my goodness. Oh, I my goodness. Did you see the one that was like a circle with kind of four axes sticking out, but it the circle was terrible, it's like really not a circle? And again, glyphs going all the way down to the sediment, even here. What is missing on the story? Another a petroglyph here that is truncated and cut off. And you can see and see here a face that's missing the entire body. So we are proving Alan's theory quite easily here with this chopped off head. Person riding a dinosaur. It's a di yeah, it looks like an elephant riding a, there you go. These, uh... A gazelle? Is that a human on a gazelle? Or huh. a human on an elk? Yeah. With a big long tail. Huh. And then let's get back to this. The, the erosion and the deposition here. Look, the head here from this is now missing the whole piece. And we're at the soil. And that I was found another, uh, probably in there. body that looks like it was missing a head further back. Which I think it just chipped off or something. Place for Oh yeah. Inside. The cave. And they go all the way in. Like inner earth. That's a particularly deep packed one and probably one of the older ones. With a shield and holding an upside down arrow. Totally bizarre. All right, so here's the thing. I want to know what's underneath all of this. And look at the eyes here. It looks like a toroid. Yeah. A taurus. It doesn't look like eyes. I didn't see that one. That looks like a taurus. Uh -huh. Where are we at? Oh, oh man, yeah. how do you even get to that? Oh, this whole passageway is covered. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that the last time I was there. Oh, man. This is the largest horse petroglyph we've seen to date. It's about a foot and a half. There's my hand. And what's he got him hanging off his arm? There's not, there's no, pe there's a person hanging so with something hanging off his arm. Yeah, a satchel. I'm really intrigued by this. That's really weird. The arch with the lines coming out of somebody's head. It's in another panel. And the butt marks. <laughs> Those are that. That's a deer on the left and an elk on the right. Ah, yeah. Antler patterns. But or this, I mean, hoof patterns. But that's really interesting. Yeah, and we're coming up on a really interesting glyph next to Alan right there. And we're running out of space on the camera, and she's up in this slot here that's filled with petroglyphs. When the camera ran out, in the slot. It's filled with glyphs. Man. <laughs> this certainly makes it easier to get a glyph up high, right? Because you can just kind of... Stem. Yeah. There's a diamond right here. I mean, I can barely fit in here, and I'm tiny. Yeah, how do they scrape that one? It's like 10 inches. It's very intricate. Here's a somebody riding another animal that doesn't look like a horse. 
right here. Uh-huh. With the peck marks. This is another pretty old peck left here. What is that? Did you see this one? I have it on film. Bring it. And then there's that symbol again. You want this on your other hand? No. But thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's oh my goodness. Look at that. More of the older work. And that was defaced by so someone put that in here. I'll look at my pictures, see. I don't think it was there last year. So they're bow and arrows. Yeah. Those symbols. That's right. <laughs> Confirmed. That's Confirmed. <laughs> These are bow and arrows. Yeah. Oh, look, if someone put an arrow, arrow on it. So these are long bows yeah. above arrow glasses, hourglasses. I keep finding hourglasses everywhere. Yeah. yeah, whatever that means. Long bow. And then check out this panel, this ladies and gentlemen. This is one I was talking about. If, if that's not a horse. Of course. <laughs> and again. And then this is probably some of the most famous glyphs of this area. With um, graffiti, obviously. Of course. Lewis. Shouldn't be there. Pretty amazing. It goes underground. Yeah, and these glyphs again are weathered and we don't know what the whole story is. Clearly. Well, you guys certainly getting your money's worth here today. There's an upside down guy with bar magnets sucking him in. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. It's like the Cincinnati Bengals or rocket ships with little motors. I can't even believe how many glyphs that are here. And this is just one of the first areas, not even the main section of this region. And here's a, clearly a dinosaur. Oh, some of this is missing too. Or a giraffe. And more horses. DNA sequence. And then some more of that weathering of the lower glyphs. They're gone. I think some of these are cows. Yeah. But then this big one where part of it's missing. Come look at this uh, dinosaur. Come look at this giraffe. Undeniable. Actually looks like a bird to me. Maybe. A little tiny. You see the three. Yeah. The three toes. What's flight? hanging off of its neck? I don't know. I was kind of interpreting that as a head. <laughs> oh, that's a turkey. And that's the beard. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, gobble, yeah. gobbler. Yeah. It's gobble. the turkey and the beard. What is that? Yeah. We, something equals man, fish. I don't know. Well, I think that the. 
it looks to me like the circular structure with the two dots is one figure. Simply because there's two of them. And there's three on the board. Oh yeah, and that one too. Yeah. That's a bar magnet sucking the upside down guy in. Okay, so that's a bow and Some older lower glyphs here, much older, and then holding the hands. Well, that's the end of our first day. We've been here just about an hour, and now we're going to go get something to eat. And the petroglyphs have pretty much dried up in this section, but we have four other areas. And we're going to be looking at some of the ruins here, which are up on top of the mesas. Some of the pueblitos. And there's some other interesting things. What's in here? Oh man, this place is amazing. Wish you guys could be here. Literally paradise if it were it wasn't 28 degrees and just awesome. Well, hit that subscribe button, that like button, that share button, comment below, and we'll see all you guys tomorrow as we continue the journey at Crow Canyon.